Kira Koto, well here we are, day 20 of the lockdown and I do hope that uh, things are still going well in your bubbles. If you're anything like me, you've been using this time to catch up on things around the home. Now tomorrow, Wednesday the 15th of April, is our first day of Term 2 and of course we start the term under quite unusual circumstances with students continuing their learning at home. So here's just a few reminders for you as parents that hopefully will help with that learning experience for your child to make it a success. Firstly, it's important that your child gets back into some sort of routine. An ideal start would be for them to get up in the morning the usual time they would during school time. Another important part of the routine is that they check their emails, their Google Classroom, and for those who have it, Education Perfect, on a daily basis by 10.30 a.m. Our teachers are using those three channels of communication to provide our students with updates and messages on a daily basis. During a typical school day, our teachers will be available as much as possible to support your child's learning. But please understand with our teachers, they are overseeing a large number of students and many of them have their own families that they're looking after as well. So requests, queries that come through from our students to our teachers, it may be 24 hours before, in fact, the teachers get back to the student. There are other options. Some of our subjects, students have formed themselves into discussion forums where they can answer each other's questions. It's highly likely over the next week that teachers will want to have face-to-face -face meetings with groups of students. Now these face-to-face -face meetings are important in a number of aspects, not only the connection aspect but also as a way of seeking clarification and getting feedback from the students on how their learning experience is going. It's important therefore that students know when these meetings will occur. Typically they will happen during the normal timetable period that a teacher has that group of students. And as part of their daily routine, it's also important that our students find somewhere within the house that can be a non-distraction zone. Equally as important that throughout the day they have regular breaks, chance to get outside, have some fresh air, bit of exercise and of course time away from their devices. Now we had have some queries from senior students who are quite worried and anxious about what this whole lockdown means for the NTA assessments. The short answer is those students shouldn't worry. It's true to say that as we are waiting for further direction and instruction from NZQA, there will be some adjustments to assessment timelines, some standards will be swapped or dropped, but as a school, it's important that any decision we make around assessment does not disadvantage our students in terms of their ability to attain a qualification in 2020. So we'd like to thank you, our parents and whanau, for the support you have given and are giving to your children, uh, our students, during this time in which the learning is continuing at home. I do hope that the rest of the lockdown goes well for you and look forward to catching up with you in the near future under more normal circumstances. Kia kaha everyone.